Hi guys, I'm at the Alicante bus station and the reason I'm here is that I've spotted something that looks interesting on Google Maps in a place called Torre Vieja. I probably butchered that completely, but there's a pink lake that I don't really know much about it, but I'm keen to explore and understand why it's pink. So I'm gonna catch the bus down there and take a look. Hola, uh, one ticket to Torre Vieja. Por favor. Number nine. Number okay. nine. Number nine. De lado abajo. Gracias. So finally we're here in the town of Torre Vieja and I just checked Google Maps and it's going to be about half hour walk to this Laguna Rossa pink it's actually a lagoon I said lake earlier but it's a lagoon because it's connected to the sea and well it's extremely salty which means that a certain type of algae and bacteria live there which gives it the pink colour so hopefully it's going to be as pink as it is in the pictures that I saw earlier I'm just making a quick pit stop to pick up a falafel wrap. I've got this idea of having a picnic by the lake. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but better be prepared. So from what I've seen of this city, Torre Vieja, so far, I'm not that impressed, but I've really only seen the outside. So maybe I'll get to give it another chance later going into the center. I think we're starting to approach this lake because I can see some pink flamingos in the distance. I can't guarantee that we're going to see any pink flamingos, any pink algae or even a pink lake, but Hopefully we'll see a pink something. I'm getting the impression that this might not be the hot tourist attraction that I thought it was because, well, there's no one else walking along this road to the Pink Lagoon. Oh, there's one person. I won't be completely alone. This is the evidence of the rainstorm from yesterday. Unbelievable. There's our first view of the Pink Lagoon in the distance. Looking decidedly blue and grey rather than pink. Let's give it a chance. Perils of going off piste the day after a rainstorm. Absolutely flooded that path was. I think we'll find a better way up here. I don't know if you can see off in the distance there, some piles of salt. And there are a few through the window of the bus as well. I was reading that this town, Torrievo, is one of the largest producers of salt in Europe and they can get up to 600,000 tonnes of salt in one year by basically scraping it off the bottom of the lake. So let's see if we can get through here. Oh my god! Well, the water is kind of pink, maybe not pink, but brown. <laughs> oh. That is so sludgy. There we go, Laguna Rossa. I have to say, if I didn't know this was called Pink Lake, I would have thought it was any normal lake, but 
I've heard that you have to come back at dawn or dusk to really see the full effect. It's a bit like the northern lights perhaps. Not deep at all. So one thing I was reading online that's making me a bit timid around here is that there's quicksand, which absolutely fills me with dread. But it feels solid so far, so I'm just going to kind of shimmy around the edge of the lake. Oh my god. It was getting kind of muddy underfoot there. I wish I had some of those little wet shoes because I just don't like the feeling of not knowing where my feet are going. Wow. Look at this. Got my own little private island. Just enough space for me to lie down at night and maybe sit down and have some lunch. So given the fact that this lake isn't very pink at the moment, I'm just going to sit down, have some lunch and, well, hopefully we'll get a bit more pink later. Cheers. Yeah, if you do visit my private island, I don't recommend sitting on the ground because actually everything's got completely wet. My towel is wet. But we can see evidence of salt here. See these little specks? That is definitely salt. Hola. Hola. I absolutely wanted to avoid that brown water now. I don't want whatever's in there staying with me. Maybe this is slightly better. Okay, so the insects seem to have come out. I'm getting bitten all over now. So not only that, but I've got salty shorts and salty legs. If you've ever, if you've never seen salty legs before, that's what it looks like. Did we see pink flamingos? No. Did we see a pink leg? Not really, it was just a normal leg, to be honest. But at least we had an adventure. That's the main thing. Anyway, I'm going to sign off because I'm heading back to Alicante before I get eaten alive. So, I'll see you in the next one. That's my kind of lake. <laughs>